What's up, guys? So I'm here at this um, park in St. Louis. I forget the name of it, but um, I just want to do a short intro to this video. Basically, what I'm out here doing is I'm testing Butterfly. For those of you who don't know, Butterfly is a new fork. Uh, well, it's not. It's it's a fork off of um, from from Betaflight with the um, goal of giving people the option to test the uh, the Coleman filter. So I have uh, the latest version flashed onto my quad, which is running the TBS Power Cube. And um, however, that is an F3 board, not an F4 board. And I'm also running it at 4K gyro, 4K PID loop with the dynamic filter turned on. Um, stock butterfly PID settings. I have put in my rates. But um, the butterfly filter settings are really different than um, uh, the settings that come stock on Betaflight. Basically, on Betaflight, all the filters are turned on and it's set to biquad. On Butterflight, it's kind of the opposite. It's set to PT1 out of the box. I think the two dynamic, two of the two of the three other filters are turned off. I think the D-term notch is the only one that's still on. So I'm a little nervous because last time I did this. Um, with the X rotor, well, with Hobby Wing X rotor and 401 ESC, I, the quad did, did a roll of death into the ground, and yeah, I wasted a lot of money with that. Or, well, a lot of money was just gone instantly. So, um, so I'm gonna approach this with a little bit more caution, just take it up for like, you know, 30 seconds or just like a minute at a time, come down, check for hot motors and stuff. And, and I guess one last thing before I get in, in, in the air, in addition to running, um, stock butterfly except for my rates um i put in the settings for the fast common filter on butterfly's website when you go to download the configurator there's some command lines that you can type in and paste into your um cli box and there's it's kind of divided up into three sections there's a section and then underneath in parentheses it says for 32 kill for 32 kilohertz gyros only. Then there's a section under that, which will basically overclock your board, and it says for, you know, F4 boards only. Then there's a section under that, which is like, I think it's like set filter to fast call man, or, um, and then it's, and then there's options to set your, your Q and R values. So that, those command lines I pasted into, or I put in onto my flight controller. The rest of them I didn't even touch because I, because this board is running the MPU, the MPU 6000 gyro, so I can't do uh, 32 kilohertz anyway, and it's an F3 down an F4. So anyway, that's the setup. I'll post those command lines in the video description below. So I'm going to go get flying, and I'm going to take you all along for the test, because um, all I've seen, I've all on YouTube, no one's doing this on an F3 board, so... Yeah, I'm going to test it out for myself, and if it works, then I'm keeping it. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'm switching back to beta flight. It's, it's, as, it's as simple as that. So anyway, let's get started. All right, so this is the test of uh, Butterfly, uh, first flight, just completely stock. <laughs> First flight, motors are not even hot, okay? Flight controller, ESCs are not hot. Um, video, I am getting some video noise. It's just um, diagonal lines in the screen. Uh, I am recording DVR, but uh, it's not 
terrible. I mean, it's still flyable, it's just a little annoying, but motors are not hot. So I'm going to finish out the rest of this battery pack. not even remotely warm. They are cool to the touch, no signs of damage, no signs of electronical damage, no signs of wires melting. The only thing that's a bit unusual is the video noise. I cannot tell, there is, there is no damage as far as I can tell. So, that's pretty impressive. I'm going to say i'm going to just say that um butterfly is safe to use on my particular um, flight controller and esc combo so yeah i'm going to swap out batteries and then we're going to start doing some as hardcore of a freestyle as i can so anyway cue the flight cue the flight edit in three two one
So I'm a fan of Butterfly now. Uh, this it flies. The stock tune on Butterfly is honestly better than like the best tune I could get out of Beta Flight 3.2. So I'm keeping it. Uh, my motors, um, they're still cool when they come down from a flight. They're not not screaming hot. Nothing on the aircraft, uh, hardware-wise, suggests that something is going wrong while running a butterfly with a fast common filter. So it's keeper. I'm keeping it. Um, I am going to do a follow-up video to this one where I basically go through the Butterfly configurator and I basically show y'all everything that I did to configure my um, TBS PowerQ, which is running the, um, the, Calib the Calib I think it's Calibri race V2. That is, uh, it it's an F3 flight controller. So if you have an F3 flight controller, uh, this should apply to you regardless of which one you have so i'm gonna uh wrap i'm so yeah i'm gonna call the end of the video here thank you very much for watching thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to listen to what i have to say and i will see you in the next one bye